Well, my time in theater, it's just been, there's, it's so long. So much waiting for just people. Um, I would say it's been a lot of fun working with everyone and getting to work with Mr. Vino and Mr. Fox and just help everything come together. Um, definitely there were some rough times, a lot of rough times, and but everything came out really well in the end, I think. I think we had a lot of fun this year. Good. <laughs> it's been nice. <laughs> well, uh, all four of them have been so good, you know, like four, all four. I spent four years here. I didn't, like four, like everybody else, Anna. Uh, it's been short, but it's it's been so much fun. Uh, I started going here last year, um, but yeah, I've, I've had a blast. My time in theater, um, I've spent a lot of it in theater. My time in theater has been really fun. I've made some of the best friends I will have for the rest of my life. Um, it's just a really good environment to express yourself without being judged by your peers. And it's been amazing. My time in theater. Oh, okay. Um, crazy. Crazy is a word. Um, random. Uh, enjoyable. Yeah, really had a good time. I would have to say uh, I've come to know that the theater people that I've met are just about the best group of people that I could ever come across. Uh, and this is the most fun I've ever had being a part of anything in my life in these last two years have been, well I should say I, I'm glad I made the choice to get into theater. Time in theater has been very interesting with the people I've met, uh, directors, cast members, uh, but overall very rewarding. My time in theater has been really great, um, especially this year was my favorite because I did a lot, but actually like it was really fun. I uh, came to Colleyville Heritage High School my sophomore year of high school, and um, I really wanted to do theater after high school, and this, this school actually had a legitimate program, so uh, I auditioned for a Midsummer Night's Dream, and I fell in love with the program. Um, really short. I mean, it's been four years, but it, it feels like it's only been like a couple of shows, so. My time in theater has been a very rewarding experience. Um, I've grown a lot, I've learned a lot about myself, I've gotten to do what I love for the past four years, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's unforgettable, it's really great. I would say you're in town, um, specifically moving everything to state and performing there. There were a couple, okay, quite a few challenges with that whole performance, but I think it was easily the best performance of that show we gave, and everyone worked really hard to bring it together, so it came out really well. Adam's family. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Eliza Doolittle. Um, if a man answers, because I got to uh, flirt with dudes. My favorite show is probably My Fair Lady. I would have to say my favorite show to work on would be uh, Fire in the Hole because it was uh, really my first role and as far as we got with it and as close as I grew with the cast, it was just my fondest memories are there. Uh, probably My Fair Lady. I'd have to say My Fair Lady. Favorite show to work on, tie between Adam's family and you're in town. I really, I really enjoyed um, Big Love because it was this character of, uh, you just get to be the guy who's free and he gets to experience it, but he was only on stage for like four or five minutes. And then they gave me that same role, but a supporting role as Alfred P. Doolittle in My Fair Lady, so I have to go with My Fair Lady. My favorite show to work on was definitely You're in Town. It was my favorite character. I, it was the closest show I've ever been a part of. Everybody was like one big happy family, and it was amazing. You're in Town, because I am Little Sally. Probably Adam's family. 
and my favourite show would have to be You're in Town. Uh, my favourite role was uh, Marianne Rowan Jackson, but just scratch the Jackson. My favourite role? Um, well, I would have to stick with Fire in the Hole and say Tommy Jackson because that was the character I played for about five months. So I think I've still got a little bit of violent father in me, but uh, hopefully not too much. I'm all right. Gosh, um, I'd have to say when I played Helena in A Midsummer Night's Dream, it just really provided such an opportunity for me to grow. Once again, tied between Adam's family and you're in town, just because of the love of both shows. Oh, Mr. Cladwell, that is that is an easy answer. I, I loved being Mr. Cladwell. I loved, you know, taking on that role and immersing myself as like one of the bad guys. I fell in love with being the bad guy after playing him. My favorite role has to be tree number five in the Adams Family. Here's a picture of me in costume. I'm on stage right now. I spent three months getting into character and we only rehearsed the show for about two. So. Mr. McQueen and Aunt Herman in Adam's family. I like I like those characters because they're both big and outgoing and outlandish and they're just really fun to play. And Mr. McQueen was like kind of that character that I had that like musical theater is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I would say stage manager for Adams was actually one of my finer moments. Favorite role? I'd have to say Frank Harper because I got all-star cast. Henry Higgins and My Fair Lady. One really special memory to me was uh, before we went on to perform Fire in the Hole at State, um, we were all in our dressing room getting ready for the show and doing good show circle. And we all just start singing A Minor's Life really slow and sweet and that was a really touching memory. My favorite memory would have to be uh, the cast bonding with Urine Town, the, the parties we had where people shaved their eyebrows off and ate bugs. That was pretty fun. Performing at DSM, like in the finale, was really cool just because it was like such a surreal experience. Like, just like the wall of confetti and everything was cool. Definitely going to state. That, that was fun. Favorite memory of theater would have to be when I ate garlic um, to spite Alyssa Jones for our kiss on stage, and I don't regret a thing. I, my favorite memory of theater is probably getting cast in Hairspray, because like that was my first show, and so it just as it started this whole journey, and yeah. My favorite memory with, with Miss Davino is, I don't know, we just get kind of crazy, and we'll just start dancing and singing. Like at DSM, we just started doing high kicks in the aisle. She's cool. So uh, I was sitting um, le house left, and um, Davino was, uh, directing people on stage and I decided that you know I don't really know how loud I'm being because that's just me I'm just loud so I was sitting there remaking um, Batman vs Superman on from YouTube and so I just shout louder than I should have just I was a boy and now I'm a bat and she lost it absolutely lost it she just she turned at me and gave me this look of disgust like what is wrong with you? Word for word, that is what she said. So funny. I was frightened, but I was, it was also very entertaining. Um, my favorite memory would probably be from Fire in the Hole. When we were at Regent and everyone was sitting in the auditorium just waiting. It, we were all really tired, but we were all just waiting in the, on the edge of our seats in anticipation, wondering, would we be the first in a decade to go to state? And that moment when they called our names, just that energy was the greatest thing I've ever felt. It was easily my favorite one. The one that I can tell you on camera is possibly when uh, uh, Miss Davino had us all come outside and she was like, we're all just gonna get some fresh air. It's a beautiful day outside. And I knew there was 
going to be a turning point in that musical right there, and it, it felt magical. I, I really loved that moment. Um, tormenting Hayden, just in general. I've always enjoyed, you know, tackling Miss Divino. That's always a good time. My total right now, well, I do it once a year, so I'm at three, but I'm gonna do it senior year. I haven't gotten there yet, but um, it's coming. Oh, dozens of times. Fallen on stage? Oh yeah, there was the time that I missed my entrance for My Fair Lady. I almost missed my entrance for My Fair Lady. And um, I was supposed to go to the left alcove, didn't go there, I went to backstage and I realized, oh no, I was supposed to go to the left alcove. So I sprint through the backstage, pushing people out of the way, get through the, the left alcove, turning around, turn the corner, Nasser's waiting for me to throw him, Nick Kennedy's going this number like, round third, go home Nick, go home. Um, I run, I straight up dive on stage with all my might. I slid like five feet past Levi. Um, it was great. Um, I have never fallen on stage before, but there's always time. We have another show, like, we'll see, we'll see. I remember, I haven't told anyone this before, uh, when we were performing at State for Year in Town, I went up onto the desk, as Mr. Cladwell was saying his last note, and um, I sang my last note, I gave it my all, I used all my breath, and I just blacked out for two seconds. I, I, my legs locked, I blacked out, and I was falling forward, but they started pushing the desk back, so I'm falling forward and the desk is going back. So like, laws of motion state that I would stay in one place, so I was very close to just face planting at state, and then I like, regained consciousness, and I know it sounds unbelievable, and I was like, oh. One time I almost fell off the scaffolding, like coming up the stairs, going up to the scaffolding uh, during your in town, uh, right before I had my entrance. So that was about as close as I got to falling on stage. Yes, many a times I fell at state when we did your in town. I fell on Mr. Nick Kennedy and Mr. Will McCoslin. I've fallen backstage. I fall every day. Um. No, I've never fallen on stage, not once. Method for getting into character. Well, I think the first thing that I do is uh, take off my clothes and then I get into costume and uh, we're there. Yeah. I don't really have one. Usually I'm too busy running around making sure Divino and Fox aren't eating everyone and, you know, fixing things to really focus myself. Uh, so mostly improv, I would say. I internalize a, a, like a little switch in my head, like a little light switch. And, um, you know, off stage, I'm, I'm Nick Kennedy. I'm, you know, having fun, having a blast, trying to make sure my mic doesn't go through the monitor. And then on stage, right when I take that first step on stage, flip, character walk starts. I have all these thoughts of what my character's doing. It's, it's just a switch, best way to describe it. Well, I eat like a whole bag of Sour Patch Kids, and then I dance around the dressing room listening to Lady Gaga, and then I just get really weird. Method acting, definitely, and I learned that from the Ryland Kaiser. I like to embody the character. I think the less of you and the more of them you become, the more, um, the more honest your portrayal can be. So typically when I am uh, in a show during the rehearsal process, I like to just sort of become the character and sort of leave who I am aside and just kind of pull this, this person to, together into life. The real question is who is Rylan? Because I feel like I'm not Henry, I'd be doing the voice, but but are you seeing Rylan Kaiser or are you seeing Rylan Kaiser? My method for getting into character is I just stand by Rylan because he usually radiates enough method acting that I can just absorb some.
Working in an ensemble is amazing because, especially with the smaller characters, because you get to create this character and you don't have to go off of anything the script says. You can create your own backstory and like where they come from and it's just fantastic and you get so close with your cast and it's amazing. I gained some of my best friends from being in the ensemble because you are with them all the time at every rehearsal and when you're a lead you don't really get to interact with them as much so I guess learned from it was just making new friends and how to um, I've learned that you, it, there's a lot of give and take. You have to be patient with your fellow cast members while also encouraging them to stay on task. Um, and it, like the, being in the ensemble is not being less than a lead. It's just being a part of the show still. Is that like a Mimbian word? Siri, what's an ensemble? Ooh, teamwork. Um, yeah, teamwork. Oh, oh, the chorus. Well, I hear that's fun. The value of being in an ensemble, like you really do have the most fun in most shows when you have people who are experiencing it with you. And just being able to like work together to make something really cool is what I learned here. Um, I have what I've learned most from my time in theater has been just cherish your friends and really enjoy what they have to offer in your life because the cast is so close knit and you'll never have anyone closer. <laughs> I've learned a lot from this Davino. She's a pretty cool lady. You know, if, if you see a part that you like, go for it. Don't let anyone else tell you that you can't dance on stage. Don't let anyone else tell you that you can't sing. Don't let anyone else tell you that there's a better actor auditioning for that role. Go for it, do it. Show Davino and Fox your stuff and, and just give it your all. I would say overall from uh, just being in theater that I've, I've learned to kind of come out of my shell and be more open to people and kind of express myself better and I think that's one of the best things that anybody can learn in life, you know, be yourself. Go big or go home. Don't be too small, like you can never, like don't be afraid to just let it out and be crazy and have fun and experiment and just don't be scared. Um, don't throw away your shot. Well, as, as Gandhi once said, it's been a long Shrek is love. <laughs> Shrek is life. <laughs> to all the underclassmen, I just want to say this. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Street light, people. Don't stop believing. Peace out. That was really not cool. So it's been an honor to be mom of the theater. And to get to see so many, so many people that I knew as old baby freshmen grow up. Had to switch up, look at things really awesome. different, see the bigger picture. Those were the be a fire hazard. Forever pays. And I see you in a better place. Bring lots of hope to the theater. Goodbye. Talk about family when family's all that we got. Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. Uh, it's been good. I'd like to say that I've had a great time here uh, in the two years that I've been involved with the theater program. Um, it's been a great, great time. It feels like it's been forever, yet it only feels like it's been two months. But I just want to say I love you all, you're great, and best of luck to you guys in the future. Hey, underclassmen. You can do it, okay? That's it. You can do it.
I guess to oncoming theater students, I would say uh, this is a place where you don't hold back and you just be yourself because this is the one place you really can do that and not be judged. And I think that's the best thing in theater and just let it all out there. I'm the queen of this department and nobody else will ever compare to me, so don't try.